All right, they are now um, at the first bar, so we are going to now start shotgunning. I really wish we had our had a pump shotgun right now, but it is what it is, right? Welcome back, everybody, to Seven Days to Die. I'm an old guy gaming, and this is Alpha 19.1, and we are ready for Horde Night 14. So I've done a lot of work on the base here. Uh, as you can see, we are inside of a cage with the roof and the top row of bars upgraded to two iron. We've got our sledge uh, turret up on top in case buzzards come in. I'm not ex really expecting buzzards to come in tonight, but they might. You never know. And uh, most of this base is upgraded now to concrete. Um, and the real critical blocks uh, are upgraded to reinforced concrete. I only have about 314 left, which is about 31 blocks. Uh, worth and I wanted to save those for repairing in case you know we needed them uh, We have our motorcycle down there. It's fully fueled in case You know the worst case scenario and the you know the place Collapses we can jump off and jump on the bike and and you know run away of course if we do that Then we'll get vultures on us, but better than sitting here and getting eaten, right? and um, Yeah, so that's pretty much it. I off camera. I went around and uh, did a little bit of salvaging to get gasoline for the bike uh, made a little bit more uh, gunpowder so we saw uh, we mined just a little bit of like coal and nitrate and um yeah that's pretty much it we got um i think it was something like five points or something since i saw you last uh so what did we do with those points we put a point into dead eye we put a point into salvage operations we have one uh in minor 69 or in mother load so i put a point in two of those i did put a point in boomstick i don't know if i did that before or after the last episode i can't remember and let's see, we also put a point in the machine gunner now that we have the tack rifle. And I think that's it. I think that's what we've done with our points. One of you guys were asking me in the comments too um, what my game stage is. And my game stage is currently 42. We've got 430 kills. We've only died once. It was that damn businessman that killed us on the gravel road very early on. And we're currently level 24. Um, we've got all of the ammo pretty much that we have looted in here. So our attack rifle is going to be our main weapon. And then I got shotgun shells for when they get closer. And uh, about 12 repair kits. So, yeah, we should be ready to go. I'm expecting this base to hold up pretty good on Horde Night 14. But it's going to be a pretty decent fight, too. So we'll just have to see, you know, how things go. And uh, like I said, worst case scenario, if I really feel like this place is going to come down, we can bail out the back, get on the bike, and run away. Okay, guys, here we go. Horde night 14. Let's see what happens here. Okay, so they're coming from that direction. There's no reason for the AI to think that there's a pathway, you know, coming through the other way. So we should be able to just get them to come up the normal path and take them out, shoot them in the head. I do have fully automatic mode on this, but I'm going to try and you know, do single shots and not waste ammo because we don't have a ton of ammo. We got a decent amount, but we don't have a ton. Need to slow slow my rate of fire down just a little bit because my spread's getting out there quite a bit. This weapon normally I think is a three round burst weapon. I thought about taking the fully auto uh, mod off, but that full fully auto trigger mod is also giving us more damage too. So we're just going to try and control it with uh, our our trigger squeezes here as best we can. Oh, we do have a buzzard. Look at that. Okay, let's use the shotgun on the buzzard. Yeah, I don't think the um, I don't think that thing does buzzards. If it does, maybe. They're just not close enough. I'm not really sure. So we got buzzards on day 14. How about that? It's probably our game stage. We've got a relatively high game stage for day 14. Another buzzard. Okay, take care of him. We're going to have to repair our attack rifle here pretty quick. Okay, let's repair this. Are the zombos, <clears throat> they're still on, on the first bar, but they've broken the top bar. So now they're working on the, the bottom bar. Somebody 
was um somewhere I read, I don't know if it was on Reddit or somewhere, I can't remember now, but somebody was complaining about the front pimps keeping the crosshairs on the gun when we're aiming down the sight. I kind of agree with that, and I kind of don't. The reason I agree with it because, I mean, yeah, I'd rather not have them there when I'm aiming down the sight, but the good thing about it is we can still see how it's affecting our spread, you know? Because uh, otherwise, unless you really knew how the gun worked and how your skills were, you really wouldn't know how bad the spread was. So just, uh, I don't know, something to think about. Okay, so they have broken through the first set of bars. The pathing's working very good, though, for us. So that part's going all right. When they get to the last set of bars, then we're going to start pulling out the shotgun. We've got so many heads to choose from here. Pretty much just fire into the fray and it's going to hit something. I mean, I could probably even start doing this, but yeah, the spread's really bad on that. <laughs> you probably better not. Uh, we do not have an infinite number of ammo, you know, or amount of ammo. We've got 246 left. We started with... Oh, shit, I can't remember how much we started with. I mean, we could even probably hit him with a shotgun from here, but let's let him get to the last bar first. Got some bags dropping there. Dog got over the top. The nice thing about using the bars as opposed to the hatches is that you can still shoot down lower. Um, you know, to get to the dogs and that sort of thing. All right, they are now um, at the first bar, so we are going to now start shotgunning. I really wish we had our had a pump shotgun right now, but it is what it is, right? I gotta get my rhythm down here. Okay, so they've busted through the last bar. Can we repair this? We can. So let's see if we can kind of try and keep that repaired. Oh shit, that dog came all the way over the top. Wrong gun. All right, let's do another repair. Except for that stupid dog's in the way. Yeah, I'll deal with you in a second there, Fido. Did that not hit him? That hit him. Okay. I don't even know if it's worth aiming at this point. I think we should just shoot from the hip. I mean, they're so close, right? It doesn't hardly matter. Okay, let's get that upgraded again. Reload. I could even just, you know, spray him with the attack rifle, but let's, let's still be somewhat conservative here. Some of them are, like, just kind of getting squirted out of there. Okay, let's keep that upgraded. Okay, let's see if we can kill this spider. Got him. All right, we better do a repair. I don't know if we let that fully load or not. Trying to figure out the rhythm here. So I think what we're going to do is we'll do eight shots and then we'll stop and repair. Reload, eight shots, stop and repair, wash, rinse, repeat. Okay, let's um, get rid of him. And then we better get that bar repaired before it breaks. Oh, that was close. <laughs> that was really close. They don't seem to be hitting the concrete at all, though. They're just concentrated on the 
on the bars. Okay, there's our second level. I mean, and even if they do get through the bars, they still have to get through at least three reinforced concrete poles to actually get to me. And I can start using the sledgehammer on them too if I have to. These shotguns do some decent damage that just take so long to reload and stuff, you know? Get out of the way, Fido. I'm trying to repair here, dude. Let's do another repair here. Yeah, we're doing okay. That's the beauty about the shotgun is there's a little shoot through and you can get two first and three first with it. All right. I think we killed the horde, you guys. It's not even 12.30 in the morning yet and we've already killed the horde. Yeah, yes. Okay, we got two levels out of that deal, too. And they never actually got all the way through the bars to us. Um, you know, because we were able to keep this repaired. So they they did, like, zero damage. I mean, the damage that is on those blocks is probably from, you know, from me, from the shotgun and stuff. Um, yeah. Okay, well, this base is pretty effective. If we, if we have a little bit better firepower on Horde 21, so... You know, like a pump shotgun at least. And, you know, maybe we put down like um, an AK-2 or something like that. Uh, we can... Uh, we should be able to do this base on 21. And then, of course, I'll have the whole thing upgraded to reinforce concrete at that point too. Uh, anyways, let's check the loot. See what we got here. All right. That's pretty decent stuff. I'm, I'm not going to bother trying to... Oh, there we go. Okay. Okay, good stuff. I'm not going to bother trying to skin the dogs. I mean, what if I had time, but I'd rather make sure we get all the loot bags. Though I think they do last for quite some time, but let's just hit. Let's just do it. Okay. $180, make you holla. Make you holla. Might as well skin this guy. Oh, he disappeared. <laughs> all right, guys. Well, that... Uh, that worked out quite well, if you don't mind my saying so, quite well. So we might, like I said, I probably won't do full iron bars for Horde 21. Maybe we'll do half iron bars. Um, the bars seem to break a little quicker than the hatches. The hatches are tougher, but the thing about the bars is here again, I can shoot down below and get spiders and dogs. Whereas with the hatches, you can't. So, you know, it's kind of a pain in the butt. However, that being said, um, we'll probably utilize a lot more explosives, pipe bombs, and, and maybe grenades if we can make them at that point um, on Horde 21 as well. But, yeah, I think this base should be fine for Horde 21. And just, like I said, minimal damage here. I mean, they hardly touched the base itself. Hardly touched it. They were so intent on getting to me <laughs> that they didn't try and break anything in the process. Yeah, this is like you know, just a little bit of splash damage from my shotgun almost certainly. Because, I mean, if they intentionally tried to ruin these blocks, there'd be a hell of a lot more damage here than there is. So good for us because, you know, we don't have to do a whole shitload of repair in here. Yeah, it's all looking good. All right, well, shoot, what are we going to do? <laughs> <laughs> for the rest of the night we're only halfway through the episode here um well i'll tell you what we've got what do we got going on we've got a couple of quests we got two quests to do we might as well do those right so what i'm going to do guys is go back to the base and just offload i got a few things in here from when i went and salvaged uh stuff so i'm going to go offload and then i'll meet you at our next quest and what the hell we might as well do it right we shouldn't get an, any more horde as long as i don't log off <laughs> like I did the last time, man. That was terrible. That was terrible. All right, guys. I'll see you at the quest site. All right, guys. Here we are at the cemetery. Had a wolf chasing me earlier. I don't know if he still is or not. He's right there. Okay. Let's take him out and get ourselves some more meat.
Okay, let's take the eye candy with us. Uh, so when we get down into the bowels of this place, we can uh, get some fat loots. Uh, okay, so we're going to have a Zikaruski up in there. We might have one or two out in the yard here. And uh, we're just going to check the open graves for now. I might off camera later dig up the other ones because we, we can find ammo in um, these crates. Uh, not crates, I mean coffins. Case in point. So we'll just check the ones that we can get to without having to dig. In fact, I didn't bring my shovel with me anyway, so... There you are. Oh shit! That's what you get for scaring me, man. You are infected! Oh shit! Okay, well we got stuff to take care of that back of the base. Oh, and we got a damn laceration too. Uh, is that... Do we get a sewing kit for that? Let's take a look. Uh, oh no, it's just an abrasion. Bumps and bruises. First aid bandages or first aid kits. Okay. We'll take one of those. So yeah, I mean, I'm not too worried about the infection because we've got honey and antibiotics back at the base and we should be able to get back there before. It becomes a serious issue. Okay, nothing in that coffin. Uh, you know what? We'll take those. Why not? Okay. We should have a Zeke up uh, there. Ooh, that's a spider. Damn. Uh, okay. Let's, um... Bring out the big gun for him. Okay. Oh! Darlene! Damn. You hit me, I hit you. I get hurt a little bit, you die. That's the way it works. Uh, Alright, so let's check this thing. And nope, we don't care about that. We'll jump up here. Medical pile right here. Oh, nice. Eight aloe veras. That's pretty good stuff, actually. That translates into eight bandages for us. And, um... Nothing up here. Okay. What is this? Oh, this is a retrieve. So, wait, what? It's a clear and retrieve. Where's our, uh... Where's our satchel? Oh, I haven't activated the quest yet. Duh. <laughs> that wasn't very smart. Okay, well, I guess we're going to do that all again. Completely spaced that one off, didn't I? All right, let's try this again. Oh, no, you know what? We could double loot. What the hell? Let's double loot. I mean, we've already, we're already a third of the way there, maybe? Well, maybe a quarter of the way there. We might as well double loot. We're gonna double loot. We're just gonna go this way. Take the shortcut. All right, is there a Zombo in here? There is not. Okay. So here's the thing, we can't really afford to run around because, um, you know, then we'll wake all the other sleepers in here and then we'll have even bigger problems. So we're going to kind of create like our own little kill zone and I don't have a damn thing with me to, rep 
to repair. That's not very smart. Shit, I left the hammer back at the house. Ugh. Oh, shit. Okay, so... I guess we're going to have to just... <laughs> this isn't going to do a whole lot of good, but we'll do the best we can. Um, so everything completely loaded. You know what? We're going to go ahead and repair this. Just because I don't want it running out right in the middle of our spray and pray, right? And, okay, everybody else loaded here. Okay, well let's um let's just do this. We're not screwing around here because we don't have time to screw around. Nobody's coming from behind, are they? Got a bag out of the deal. Too bad those weren't antibiotics, huh? Okay, let's check the fat loots. Um, should we pop up this? Yeah, I mean, we might as well, right? I th and and I ha even have, you know, one or two more, too. So let's open stuff uh, or break stuff first before we loot. I don't think we could get back down here. Um, on one of those candies. I mean, we could try it, I suppose. We might be able to do that if we use the same exact tactic that we just used now, huh? Okay, well, let's try it. <clears throat> let's try it. So this is going to be kind of a pain in the ass, though. How much? I got six lockpicks. Crap, you know what else I have up on the bike? The stuff that Insta opens safes. That's going to be worth going back up there for, I think. We got another freaking... Oh, is that new, or is that the same one we had before? I think that's probably the same one we had before. Okay, so let's take, um... Jail... Wait, is that the right one? Yeah, lockpick and success 100%. So let's grab that. We might as well eat this, too, because that's going to... Make that well. Now nah, let's not waste it on that. Let's not waste it on that. We're close enough for that to run out that I think we can just let it run its course. Okay, here we go. So we're gonna eat this. Actually, let's eat that first. And then we're gonna eat that. And we should be able to pick this lock without any problem. Oh, we got nine minutes on our, on our, uh, whatchamacallit. So we might be able to make it back down here in time. We'll see. Okay. Let's get the fat loots and the weapons bag. That's our last triple storage mount. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are no longer going to be encumbered. Of course a running horde would show up right now. Um, okay, is that everything? I think so. Okay. That's gonna be a problem. Crap. Okay. Let's get back up here. You guys show up at the worst possible times, man. I'll tell you what. out here without getting their attention. Okay, let's quickly offload a few things. I'll worry about the uh, the triple storage later. Let's just go. We don't have a lot of time. Okay. Let's quickly start the quest. And we're, we're going to make a beeline for the fat loots, and then we'll worry about the rest of it later. Let's just be quiet through here so we don't wake up anybody else. Well, so much for that idea, huh? Damn it. 
can't believe I missed. Another one. Damn it. All right. I'm done screwing around. We don't have time for this. We do not have time for this. You know what? We are hurt pretty damn good. So I'm going to take the big meta pack and we'll put these down here. Okay, let's go. I think most of that horde is on the other side of the fence, which means they're not going to be able to get to us anytime soon. At least in theory, right? Okay, let's be quiet coming down through here. Don't want to wake up the rest of the sleepers down here until we get to the loot. Let's double check this compartment again. Okay, there's nobody back there. Okay, we're essentially just going to do the same thing we did before. Seemed to work reasonably well. Okay, is this ready to go? Okay, we have one minute and 45 seconds left on the safe, the safe thing. All right, let's just take them out. We need to get a bigger magazine for this. Okay. Okay, quick, 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 quick. Open, open. We're fine on our... <clears throat> on our, uh... You know, the other one. <laughs> I can't think of what it's called. The one that gives us the good loot. Um, eye candy. And we're fine on the safe now, too. Oh, man! All of that effort for just that? What the hell? Okay. Alright. That's alright. That's some nice shit. That's some pretty good stuff. All told. We'll compare that yellow pistol with our orange. And see if it's any good. I was kind of hoping we'd get some antibiotics. Oops. Two repair kits. Okay, <clears throat> so we managed to get down here twice uh, on both our lock picking candy and our eye candy, which is great. Now we're just going to kind of work in reverse. Looks like our satchel's up above, probably in that little uh, chapel building. Oh, we got a hunting rifle too. I didn't even notice that. So is this yellow pistol better? It is not. It's two points. I mean, it's got more range, rounds per minute, and durability, but on the two most important things, the damage in the magazine, it's actually two less. So, once again, we're going to continue using our orange pistol. However, that being said, we do have an extra mod slot in this guy, so it might be worth it to, to check that out, but we'll worry about that when we get back to the base, of course. Okay, so, uh, are we thirsty? Yeah, actually, we're really thirsty. Okay, so let's drink this. And uh, I'm just going to drink the coffee just to free up the slot. And we could stand to eat one of these too. Okay, let's just work our way back through the other direction now. Make sure we're all loaded up here. And I'm not going to worry about trying to be subtle. We're just going to just gonna go. Come on, businessman. Are you dead? He did. Check that coffin. Uh, I'll take that, and I think I'll scrap that. We still are a little bit hungry. Oh, what's this? 
I didn't even notice that. Footwear. Learn to craft a variety of good-looking versatile footwear. Okay. I guess. Uh, none of those guys are lootable. Two, two Zikaroos. Oh! <laughs> oh, man. They are trying to break through the fence up there, aren't they? Those son of us. Okay, are we loaded? Alright, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Is there nothing to loot in there? Nothing to loot in there. Skater punk. We woke up two more Zeeks. Oh, we never never killed Skater Punk? Killed him now. Lady Killer Challenge. Let's take that. Uh, I mentioned this before, but like we did uh, uh, during the experimental series, once I get a good collection of those, we'll just spend a whole episode and do them. Okay, what's this? Increase attack speed with axes by 5%. All right. There's nothing in there. What the hell? <laughs> that not way came up. Well, he's not going to be waking up at all. Ever. Again. I don't care about that. Okay, let's check these two coffins here. I missed a coffin up there, didn't I? We should check it because it might have ammunition in it. Case in point. Okay, let's go upstairs. Hopefully that horde is still mostly on the outside. Let's get the tack rifle ready just in case that is not the situation. And we're going to have one or two Zeeks to kill in here. So we've killed all the zombies. Now we just need to get the satchel, which is, where is it? Where is it? It's over this way. It's probably inside of here. Is this a breakable block? Oh, it is. Okay. Okay. I thought that was, <laughs> I thought that was a stone block and I was like, go to figure it out. Oh, geez. Okay. Looking for surprise, surprise. Spear hunter not interested. Iron helmet maybe. Nah, we're gonna lose a lot of mod slots if we take that though. Uh, we only get one mod slot, and then a baseball bat for 264. I think I'm gonna take that one by virtue of the value of it. Yeah. Okay. Next job. Uh, let's go back to the west with this another fetch and clear. Do something for me. Good luck. <laughs> oh, excuse me. I think you're gonna need it. All right. You got food in there. You do. I don't have. Oh, I do have my money on me. Okay. So let's buy this and that and that and that. And we're good. Okay. All right, guys. I'm going to let you go. I'm going to go back to the base, uh, take an antibiotic, because we're unfortunately past the honey stage now. Well, I guess we could take two honeys, couldn't we? Uh, do some inventory management, and then I will meet you back again in the other town, and then we'll, in the next episode, continue working on these Tier 2 quests and see uh, how soon we can get ourselves to Tier 3. we got to be getting fairly close, I would think. Uh, let's take a look at that really quick before I let you go. So if we go here to quests, so we've done a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight after we do these two. Yeah, so we're getting close. We probably will hit tier three in two episodes from now, is my guess. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. We had a good horde night and uh, happy about that. Can we take two of these? Yes, we can. Okay, cool. So yeah, you can stack the honeys for uh, for infections. I'd rather do that because, you know, honey is fairly easy to come by and then we can save the antibiotics for when we really need them. Cool. Okay, guys, that's it for this episode. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share out the video, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.